Hello friends, welcome to GovernmentJobsPreparation.com. My name is Preeti and today we are going to learn some special tricks, right? Uh, this type of question generally we see in POs and SSEs exams, right? And after seeing this series, we generally don't attempt this type of question because we think it will take some more time, right? It will take more time, fine? So, but it's not the reality. These questions are as simple as that, right? Let's see how. Our first question is this and 1 by 2 can be written in this form, right? 1 by 6 can be written in this form. Right? We can write these numbers in this form. Fine. And now one thing should be remembered that is this sequence should be in ascending order, right? 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7. The gap can be any, right? Now we have a formula I'm writing here. 1 divided by gap. I'll let you know what is gap. P1 minus P2. I will tell you what is T1 and what is T2. Right? So now, the 1 is 1 divided by gap. Gap is the number. This is the gap. The gap is, what is the gap? The gap is 1. All the numbers must have the same gap. Right? The gap is 1. So, write 1 here. And T1. Now, see carefully. What is T1? T1 is this series. Right? And T2 is this last series. These last numbers. First T1 is 1 by 1 minus last is 1 by 7. Now solve 1 by 1. And when you, uh, when you take LCM of these numbers, you will get 6 by 7. And finally your answer would be 6 by 7, right? You can check it at your home. Uh, you, can, uh, you can take the LCM of these all numbers. And finally, you will see you, your answer would be 6 by 7 only, right? Now, take the second quotient. Second quotient is, we can write this in this way. Plus, now this in this way. And this is 35. 35 can be written in this way, 63 in this way, and 99 in this way. Now, see the gap. The gap is same. Where is the gap? The gap is 2. 2, right? The difference between these two numbers is 2. But the sequence should be in ascending order. You cannot write 9 into 11 then your answer will become wrong, right? Your answer can be wrong. So don't use, always use ascending order, right? Always use ascending order, fine. So now apply this formula. Now we are going to apply this formula. One by, what is the gap? Gap is two. P1 is this series, this number, one by one. And last is one by 11. Right. When you solve, you get when you uh, when you LCM these two numbers, you get ten by eleven. Right. And further, if you solve, you get this will deduct, this will be divided by this. So your answer would be five by eleven. Right. So this is the answer. Fine. So now third question. Now in third question, we don't have to you know. Uh, you know, we won't have to uh, write in any other term. It is already, you know, it is already solved. So, we we'll just, we have to apply this formula. 1 by gap is, uh, we can see gap is same, that is 3. So, apply 3 here. And T1 is this, 1 by 1 minus T.
T2 is 1 by 13, right? Now 1 by 13, and if you solve this by LCM, your answer would, would be 12 by 13. And when you solve it further, 1 by 3 into 12 by 13, your answer would be 4 by 13. So these, these portions are very important, very, very important in every, uh, you know, graduate level or any uh, high profile exam. You will, you will be, you know, you are given this type of portion. So do practice as much as you can. And for further videos, for more videos, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you so much.